For Staff Sergeant Christina Taylor, her second deployment was the hardest. The everyday things that everybody you take for granted here, you don't you don't get to see them, the little things, the medical, the, the school. Okay. Well, I'm walking slowly. Keep them away from the window. I'm getting ready for first days or last days, dances. Um, you get to see it through pictures and video, and it's not the same um, as being there, part of it. You make it through and you do the best you can because it's the job that I signed up for. They're at the counter, okay. Today, a chance to surprise her kids. I hope he doesn't know. My son works at Wendy's and the lady he stayed with, the family he stayed with, um, hooked it up to um, surprise him to say I'm coming home. My daughter has just dropped off and they think that they're going to be picked up from my friend to go pick me up at the airport. Hey! Hey, bud. Hello. <laughs> As family and friends looked on, oh, I love you so much, bud. Oh, I love you too, mom. A tearful um, reunion. Another chapter is finished. I don't have to leave my kids again oh. ever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what do you want to do when I come home? Netflix. <laughs> Get a drive. I love you too, sweetie. For these kids, it didn't really matter what they did. We're getting pizza down tonight. We are? But that they could finally share it with their mother. Go on to the guest. In Lebanon, Matt Rist, CBS 21 News. like to recognize the person who came the farthest to be with us tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, will you help me welcome Navy CB Culinary Specialist First Class Steve Kioski. Steve is returning from Iraq after 10 months of active duty. Now that's what I call a family reunion. Uh, Tonight for an Army Chief Warrant Officer returning from a year-long deployment in Afghanistan, but he will have his three children. Today, the single dad went school to school, surprising each of his kids. And now his news reporter, Leo Stalworth, was there for all of the emotional reunions. California Army National Guard Chief Warrant Officer David Duran has been away from his family in Afghanistan for a year. That is until today when he surprised his 14-year-old son at his middle school in Lincoln Heights. 
It feels good. I want to spend the, the whole time with him. Every minute. Uh, this is raw emotion, you know, that's just the way it is. The, the, the battles are not just overseas, you know, the battles are, are here at home. I'm a single father, so having my sons, or uh, having my kids, you know, uh, endure that, um, the uncertainty of, hey, is my father ever coming back? David understands how blessed he is to have his dad come home. He understands that not everybody will have the opportunity that he has. He's a very sensitive kid. After surprising his boy and getting a certificate of appreciation from school officials, at Nightingale Middle School, it was time for Chief Warrant Officer Duran to give his next child... <laughs> Nicole Duran, a senior at Lincoln High School, the same heartwarming Valentine's Day gift. I love my dad. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so awesome. Honey, your daddy's a hero. I love him so much. And sweetie, you were not only crying, you were shaking. Yes, I, I was. Just, I, I didn't expect him coming. I thought he was going to come Saturday. We were going to pick him up. Could you have asked for a better Valentine's Day gift? No, I couldn't. This is, this is amazing. I, I love this. It's a great gift to give her. You know, it's a, her senior year, so it's a pretty special moment that uh, I'm glad I was able to give her. We're not done, folks. Chief Warrant Officer Duran will be arriving here at the third and final school to greet his third and final child, giving that child the heartwarming Valentine's Day gift of a lifetime. Fourth grader Luce Duran was filled with tears of joy as she threw her arms around her daddy at Gates Elementary School. We always think of those reunions, and I'm just one of the fortunate ones. Every day, including Valentine's Day, our hearts are with our troops. Leo Stallworth, ABC7 Eyewitness News. I'm Tracy McKenzie, the counselor at Lincoln Elementary, and I am so fortunate to be part of a surprise for one of our kindergarten students. Caden Richardson in Mrs. Bartu's class is going to be so surprised when her dad shows up today. He is returning early from Afghanistan, and he is going to surprise her. back to the United States on the 28th and we just got in Oklahoma this morning. Mommy had a plan. She put uh, Hershey's Kisses in a jar and told her when she ate the last one I was going to be home. So she had no idea I was coming home today. How did it feel to be able to come in and surprise your daughter like that? Uh, amazing. I didn't expect her to cry. It made me cry a little bit. I have. Every day. And meeting this little one here. Uh, so I missed her and I loved her. Excited to see her. What do you want to do first? Whatever you want to do. Spend time with you. We're going to spend time together. <laughs> so, what's your name and what grade are you in? Uh, Caitlin Sharing and I'm a sophomore. I'm Emily Sharing and I'm a freshman. And so, what does your dad do? He's a flight surgeon and he works with the Army and heals or takes care of the people. Cool. He's a doctor yeah. for the veterans and he flies and stuff. Is he stationed somewhere or? He got to Georgia. He got back in the United States on Friday, but he was um, in Taji, Iraq. How long was he there for? I think Four months. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so it's been a while. Mm -hmm. How would you describe your father? The best man in the world. Mm -hmm. He's yes. fun, smart, funny. Just like the best dad. He's ever. always there for you. He's always someone to talk to if you need someone to talk to. And he understands. Role model. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. What do you think their reaction will be? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe, uh, like, who's that old guy? <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome Home Blog, the number one site for videos of surprise military homecomings. Visit welcomehomeblog.com to see the newest video every day. So we're not having meatloaf for dinner. Why? <gasps> what the f are you doing here? <laughs> Now, it's homecoming, hugs and kisses. Today is one that we got to be a part of and we'll never forget for its epic romantic kiss and emotions all around. This is the homecoming of Sergeant Justin Smith. Oh, I'm feeling very anxious and excited. We, we just can't wait. It's been um, quite a few months since we've seen him. We were at Atlanta's airport to capture the moment a few years ago. We miss everything about him. He is our backbone to our family. He's our hero. He's our daddy. Well, then the worrying and the waiting, it was all finally over. There were hugs and kisses all around. And uh, Sergeant Smith, let's just say that he gave his wife a smooch that's straight out of Hollywood. <laughs> Lookers also noticed that he gave each daughter a moment of undivided attention. Welcome home, Charlotte. I'm really excited. I'm happy that he's home. I'm shaking. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. I'm excited. I am overwhelmed that we are so blessed to have him come home. And we were lucky to get to share in that moment with y'all. 
<laughs> Mia, there. You see him? No. I see him. I see him. Go, Bella. Oh.